Do you ever want to stitch something with embroidery, but it's not an actual design yet? With the Baby Lock Solaris Vision, you are able to scan in artwork, letters, signatures, anything you can think of, and put it into the machine to generate stitches. You can also, of course, do this in software, but if you don't have software or want to learn more about the capabilities of your machine, this is a great exercise to do. Now, personally at home, I've got a little artist. He has decided that art is his favorite thing to do. He tries to get me to do it at least two or three times a day with him. It's really fun. And you can tell that he loves doing handprints. Um, so one thing that I would love to do is I would love to make a quilt for him that has several of his artworks so that we have like a roadmap of his growth and then I don't have to hold on to a whole bunch of paper mess forever. So I thought I would show you guys how to do this exercise and how easy it is to put it in the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is the scanning frame that comes with the machine. And you notice it's got these magnets. These magnets are there to hold your artwork flat so I always try to use as many as possible. Just make sure these bars up here are clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the machine. Click it down. And now I'm gonna to go to the screen and go into IQ Designer. So this is gonna be our home page of IQ Designer. And in order to scan, I'm gonna press the little fern leaf up there. And I want this one to be more of an illustration because there's not any hard lines that's in there. I'm gonna do illustration design and then I'm gonna scan. And now it's going to scan the frame four times and then it will bring that onto the screen so we can play with it. Perfect. So now it's scanned it and you can see the image popped up on my screen here. There's these two little handles where I can kind of drag those and I'm just going to do the one handprint for now and you can drag it to exactly where you want it in the image. And then I can press OK. It's going to get rid of the rest of the artwork and show me what we've got selected. Sometimes she takes a second to think as she's generating those stitches for us. So we're gonna hang tight and let her think. There it goes. So you can kind of see it didn't scan perfectly, but that's okay. And then from here, I can kind of play around with it. So I can make some lines, hit retry. And at this point, we just kind of play around with the design and see if we can get it to look the way that we want it to. All right, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna maybe reduce the max number of colors. Now we're going to increase them. I'm going to bring it up to 15, which is the max number of colors you can scan in at a time. But I didn't quite like that, so we're going to bring it back down to 12. So as you can see, you kind of play around with it until you get an image that you like. So I, I love the fact that I can see his little fingers here. And looking at the image versus this, it's pretty darn close. So we might be just about right for that little section. All right, I'm going to count that as pretty good for now. Of course, when it has fabric and all of that, it'll look even better. And then here we go. He's thinking. And there it is. So you can kind of see on the screen, there's that background image of what we scanned in and then the stitches that generated from it. So I really think that looks cool. So I'm gonna get rid of my background and image so I can see this a little bit better. Now I'm on this page here where it lets me kind of play around with my fills and things like that. So with my fills, I can press up here. And if I really wanted to, I could go kind of crazy. I could turn these fills into different fills that are on the machine. So if I wanted to turn that dot into something more fun, maybe I do fish. I can press OK. It's going to apply that to just that dot. It's going to show me what that's going to look like, which is hardly anything. So I'm going to resize that dot to a lot smaller. It's going to think for a second. There we go. So now I've got this funky thing in the corner. 
not necessarily what I want to do for this one. But it's kind of cool that I can customize the things that way as well. I can also change the angle of the fill. In the pool compensation, I can change the density. So in this screen, I'm able to play with a lot of those things that you get to do in software. When I'm done with that, all I have to do is hit set. It's going to tell me we're going to get out of my uh, IQ designer and it's going to switch into my embroidery section on the machine. I'm going to press OK and voila, it has turned into stitches. So then if I'm not ready to stitch, I can just stick it in my memory. And there we go. There's number one of my artwork project. Project. I hope that this video gives you some inspiration of what you can do with IQ Designer on your Baby Lux Solaris Vision. I always think that the projects people come up with for this are incredible, so if you have any awesome project ideas, put it in the comments below. We always love to hear it. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll do more IQ Designer videos soon.